first piece here is by Colin Davidson and it's called Thread the Light a supporter to Glenn Hansard uh, he has won the uh, the gold medal with that picture and it is it's a portrait but it's uh, a slightly unusual as a portrait first of all it's more or less square in its format and um, the the subject is bigger than life size which is uh, you know relatively unusual it's, it's just head and shoulders but it's painted in, uh, you know, with Colin's skill and dexterity when it comes to paint. Fantastic quality of paint in the picture. And um, that's not easy to get, especially not on that sort of scale. It's interesting, actually, because he's not, he's not looking at us. His face is almost full face, but uh, his eyes are turned away slightly. And there's even perspective within the eyes. You know, it's, uh, it really is well-observed. Fantastic piece. It won the gold medal this year, so that's the, um, the best painting by... Uh, a member of the academy. Colin's an academician. Okay, picture by uh, Simon McWilliams, which is called M Machine Number no. Two. Striking, very striking piece. It's um, slightly portrait format, almost square, not quite, and uh, painted in well, basically complementary colours. So it's a building site. It's a a very high rise sort of building going up. There's, uh, there's scaffolding, there's men working. The whole thing is painted more or less in bright yellow against a vivid purple sky. Uh, the composition is such that eye level in the picture is way down, probably off the painting actually to the bottom. So it gives us a real sense of looking up at all this work going on. That's um, Bob, is, uh, he's an academician too, been uh, one of our members and supporters for a long time. He's... Uh, He's put in a, a cast bronze of, a, of just a head and neck. Uh, he has this is one of two pieces he has in. Um, another one called Host, again cast bronze, and uh, it's a collection of little pieces that are, that are actually wall hangs. Fantastic. Well, here's a piece by Ian Cumberland, for example. He's won a prize this year. He won a prize last year, and uh, he would probably describe himself as a photorealist painter, but. Um, in some ways that doesn't really do his work justice because um, the paint quality is fantastic you know he's uh, he's technically extremely gifted and uh, these two he's got two portraits in this year again not unlike um, Colin Davidson's in that they are larger than life size which uh, gives him a slight uncomfortable edge you know uh, these two portraits they're looking out of the picture straight at us and again which makes gives them a sort of edgy quality but the quality of the paint is just uh, fantastic this is part of um, a series that uh, Shaleen did which was um, to do with uh, workers in South Africa house servants generally and uh, she's photographed them in their environment in the house in which they work and uh, I don't know what it is about them there's there's just a, a quality that um, you know they, they, they she's just caught something they, you know, this is the, their composition. Typically, it'll, it'll be a square, and within that square, the the um, the model or the, the the subject of the picture is uh, right in the middle, head maybe just a little bit above the middle of the of the composition. But you know that that gives it again. It gives it that slightly edgy quality. Sometimes to break the rules of composition, kind of add something.